Rhinognatha was found to be an insect, the oldest known to date. It grew to a length of about one millimeter and would have been a scavenger, feeding on rotting matter. The Paleodictotero are an extinct order of large, primitive Paleozoic Paleopterous insects. They were characterized by beak-like mouthparts and an additional pair of winglets on the prothorax, in front of the first pair of wings. Although the Paranoto are technically not wings, they are whimsically called six-winged insects. The Paleodictotero are a paraphyletic assemblage of basal Paleodictotoroidian insects, rather than a clade because they gave rise to other insect orders. Protophasma appear during the Middle Carboniferous, Late Serpachovian or Early Bashkirian, making them among the earliest known winged insects in the fossil record. Pronatal lobes may be expanded to form a shield. Meganeura is one of the largest known flying insect species. Meganeura were predatory, with their diet mainly consisting of other insects. The way oxygen is diffused through the insect's body via its tracheal breathing system puts an upper limit on body size, which prehistoric insects seem to have well exceeded. Humans are the only known hosts of the crab louse, usually is found in the person's pubic hair. Although the louse cannot jump, it can also live in other areas of the body that are covered with coarse hair, such as the eyelashes. The natural camouflage of Rhipineoptera makes them difficult for predators to detect, and they include the world's longest insects. Most of them are known for effectively replicating the forms of sticks and leaves, and the bodies of some species are covered in mossy or lichenous outgrowths that supplement their disguise. In a seemingly opposite method of defense, many species seek to startle the encroaching predator by flashing bright colors that are normally hidden, and making a loud noise. Some species, such as the young nymphs of giant prickly stick insect, have been observed to curl the abdomen upwards over the body and head to resemble ants or scorpions in an act of mimicry. They are herbivorous, feeding mostly on the leaves of trees and are recognized as injurious to forest and shade trees by defoliation. More than 20,000 species of Orthoptero are distributed worldwide. They have incomplete metamorphosis and produce sound by rubbing their wings against each other, or their legs, that containing rows of corrugated bumps. These organisms use vibrations to locate other individuals. Cyaphorox is a nocturnal predatory cricket that preys on other insects found in the bottom of the rainforest. Chorotypus grasshoppers have a head that rises above the level of the thorax and short antennae and some species have reduced wings. Evidence suggests an intimate relationship with the cockroaches and termites. The Blatidae and the Mantises are now all considered part of the Superodidictotera. Arthropods similar to living cockroaches dominated the insect communities of the Carboniferous period. 
modern cockroaches radiated from them by the middle of the Mesozoic. This group of insects are nocturnal, only foraging for food and water at night. Mantises were considered to have supernatural powers by early civilizations and are among the insects most commonly kept as pets. They have triangular heads with bulging eyes supported on flexible necks. Their elongated bodies may or may not have wings, but all mantidae have four legs that are greatly enlarged and adapted for catching and gripping prey. Their upright posture, while remaining stationary with four arms folded, has led to the common name praying mantis. When directly threatened, many mantis species stand tall and spread their four legs, with their wings fanning out wide. Orchid mantises are camouflaged pink or yellow, matching the coloration of local orchids. The earliest known fossil cicadomorpho appeared in the Upper Permian period. Extant species occur all around the world in temperate to tropical climates. Pharoa cicada is the largest and most northern species of periodical cicada with a 17-year life cycle. Brazilian tree hopper has unusual helicopter-like features. They exhibit limited movement and their primary food sources from the underside of leaves. They also exhibit hemimtabalus development. The earwig has not been seen alive since 1966, it is possibly extinct due to habitat loss as well as predation by introduced rodents and centipedes.